hey guys hope you are doing good uh, welcome back to the channel uh, welcome to a different video today um, i'm on this platform called data lamur they have some interesting like sql practice question so i've chosen a random question so we'll go about trying to solve it so as you see here um, this question is basically like this you have user transaction data what is the transaction id what is the product id how much did they spend and what was the transaction date okay so for example like this is like the sample data they have given right you have transaction id product id spend and date of transaction okay now our aim is to get an output like this okay so you year product id current year spend previous year spend and year on year rate okay what is year on year rate is they have mentioned here so you have to basically a uh, partition by product id current year spend and previous year spend and see how much you know the spend increased or decreased right compared to previous year how do we go about this so first step uh, like to compare current and previous year and to like you know partition by product id what can we do so we can say uh, select uh star like okay let me say let me select uh what they need in the output okay so let me just select uh, transaction id also that should be okay uh, product id okay then we need the uh, they need the year right so since we have transaction date already we can uh, extract right like there's a function called extract can extract year from transaction date uh, yeah this should be within the brackets okay and I can call it as uh, year right whatever name they need so I'll put it as y u a r um, then we need the spend okay spend is there uh, then they want like previous year spend how can we do that so we can do like lag of spend right and since they want to partition it at product id right for each product id they want previous year spend i can do this and then order by uh, transaction date like to make it ascending order so as last spend okay something we can give a name for now so this is already a good first step i think let's run the code and see okay we can scroll down here and for each product ready you see uh, 2019 of course there's no last spend because that was the first year there's no lag value for 2020 spend was 1000 uh, previous year spend was 1500 and that's just the same thing we get here and so on okay so now that we have done this first step uh, we can put this in a with clause i can say with uh, let's say product data we can give it some arbitrary name as let me just drag this above okay and now what all we need in the output we need the year right so i'll select year i'll select product id uh, current year spend so spend is actually current year spend so i can say spend as current year spend give the same column name previous year spend it's basically the last spend right so last spend as pre year spend just giving the same name as the output and then year on year rate how you will do it it's very simple right so you calculate basically spend minus previous year spend right or like minus last spend because that's what we had in the data and you divide it by the current spend to see actually you divide it by the last spend right to see uh, compared to last year this year did we increase or decrease okay so this will give us a value uh, in like some 
small number and then to convert into to percentage we can do 100 okay and I can give this a name year on year rate from uh, our width class table which is product data okay let's run code we have the output like only difference is you know like they I think want so you see up to two decimal place I think yeah it's given here so we need to round it up uh, so how do you round it up you can say round off this whole thing and say comma 2 and then run the code and now we get 33.35 24.62 let's compare with the output 33.35 24.62 72.12 right for 1 2 3 4 2 4 so yeah that's pretty much it right so you found the lag and then you know you did the percentage difference between this year and last year divide by last year convert it into percentage by multiplying by 100 then round it to two decimal place it, so we got the solution so let's looks good let's see we can submit and see if it works so it says accepted so I guess yeah so that's pretty much it right like simple use of like a uh, lag concept to compare like year on year growth rate I hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you again in another video till then take care